What is up, guys? Uh, I'm very excited for today. We're going to be doing some Blitz. I had a quick announcement. This is not related to a gimmick or anything like this. Uh, recently, I bought this webcam. Uh, for those who don't know, I literally know nothing about tech. This is the Obsbot 4K, Meet 4K webcam. Uh, I wish it was good news. I wish y'all were able to enjoy your boy live in 4K. Unfortunately, though, what's happened, what's transpired is I hooked this webcam up. It will not stop glitching for the life of me. It will not stop glitching. So this is a plea to anyone who knows anything about tech. Could you please, like, maybe send me a private message on chess.com or help me figure this out? Because, uh, like, whenever I boot up this webcam, it just starts glitching nonstop. It starts glitching endlessly. Some people were thinking that it could be a CPU issue. I don't see how that's the case. I have my super Soviet, super Chernobyl level computer right here with me. This thing goes up to depth 50 on chess base uh, without, without missing a beat. Um, so I don't know what the issue is. Please, so please, if anyone can help me figure this out, I really want to bring you guys the best 4K. Uh, I had this webcam now a week. I tried to figure it out on my own. I have no idea why it's glitching. And so, you know, let me know in the comments. If you want to see your boy in 4K, but with glitches every three seconds, that could also work. But I, I figured that for now, we'll keep on using the crappier webcam uh, just due, due to the fact that um, literally, like, uh, it's glitching endlessly in the other. Um, so, okay, let's get it started. Let's go. Let's play some Blitz, some three minute games. I have to lower the volume. So we're playing E. Kurtz. Got a Dutch. This guy's an NM. What's his rating? Twenty seven hundred. Big dog in the uh, big dog in the playground. What is this E four stuff? I've never seen this E four stuff. We'll play D six and E five though. Definitely cannot be bad. Got just a reverse Leningrad here. What is happening here? This is a Botfinic English, is this not? It's a very interesting system at the moment. Um, I'm going to just play very slow. I'm going to play h6. Probably he should play f4. Yeah, this guy's playing well. This guy knows what he's up to. I'm going to play bishop g4 here, try to get an exchange. Play knight d4. Kick the knight out with c6. I think I think I should be doing okay. That was a mistake. He could have taken here. Takes, 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 and this pawn would have been dropping. That dime would have been dropping. I'm going to play queen b6 here. Start to press upon the dark squares. Knight d7. Knight is coming to c5. Very interesting position at the moment. I don't think I'm worse. That cannot be a good move. His pieces are way too tied down here. But, I mean, the question, though, is how exactly do I make progress? Let me take. He's going to take back. Oh, he's taken that way. I wanted to throw an e4. That was what I was all about. Someone's messaging me on, uh, yeah, that's, that's a bummer. Someone just canceled on me. That's super annoying. Man, my, my life at the moment, I just, I really, I cannot wait to get out of this six months. Like, uh, just at the moment, life is going great. I have so much business, so many things to do, but it's just, it's so hectic. It's so hectic. I'm really, I'm, I'm so looking forward to a time when I could just... When I can just be making no money again. And I can actually like have a free hour in my schedule. Which I now do actually because someone just canceled on me. So I, I should not be complaining. Um, why don't I take here and snatch this mango? It's all about snatching the mangoes, as they say. He's taken there. I'm going to play rook e8, just defend everything. His queen is locked out for the moment. King f7, everything is good. No problems here. Oh, queen h5. Queen h5, coming fast. Let's play rook e5. Guard everything. What is... That must have been a mouse slip. He must have been m meaning to play rook b1 there. Um, I will play rook h8, though. I'm not going to show him any mercy. This is not the mercy channel, as they say. Play rook e6. Yeah, what a terrible mouse slip that was to move his queen back. I think he must have been winning there. All right, rook take. Play rook h. How am I gonna? How am I actually gonna make progress here? Let me play knight d three. I gotta get this pawn rolling. Gotta roll, roll, roll it down the river. Pushing e three, pushing e two, 
trying to make a queen over on e1. What am I going to do here? Queen b2, just bullying him into a queen trade. Queen a5. Queen a5 is a sneaky move. He wants to play queen c7. <laughs> We're going to go right back to b6. I got to hurry up. I can't be dawdling around. I'll play queen d4. I'm going to try to throw an e3. Queen e5. I need to take this pawn as soon as I possibly can. B1, B6, he's trying to sneak in, this little rascal. He's sneaking in, but he's not getting there. I'm going to take on F6. Everything should be good here. E3, I like E3. He takes, I, I take here. Still no breaking in. He could take here. That's probably his last chance. Yeah, but I think I take here. I'm going to run away. I'm all good. I'm all set. Rook F2 is about to be a huge bummer. Let's play Rook F2. I got a really neat trick here. I got rook takes h3 coming. Here I go queen uh, queen e5. He checks. I play king king f6. No tricks just yet. Let's play e2. I'm still waiting for this rook h3 trick. Let's play queen e3. Still no checks. How do I get in? I gotta I gotta hurry up and stop relaxing. Oh my! I cannot believe I dropped this game. What a mess. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, that that's really frustrating. I'm just I'm chilling out, relaxing Johnny Carson style. The problem I'm gonna blame my my whole my whole demeanor on that loss. I'm gonna blame that loss on my demeanor. I I reversed the words. It's very hard to, to be playing aggressive chess and very focused chess when you're in time scrambles, but when you're leaning back with a mic in your hand. I'll tell you that much. But I, I really, I do love this style. I got a much better mic already. It came. The better mic is already here, but I just, I, I'm afraid to bust it out because I, I love the setup so much. I have a mic that I, I, I want, but I don't need. Or I need, but I don't want. Yeah, I'm really hoping I can fix this webcam, though. The webcam is super annoying. I, I spent at least, like, I spent a good 20 minutes trying to fix it. <laughs> I spent a, a, at least a good 30 minutes, like, on Reddit, just scouring the internet for answers, for some type of clue as to why the webcam was behaving in this way. All right, what am I going to do here? I don't want to trade this knight. This knight is a really bad piece here. I'm going to play knight d3. I'm going to switch the knight back to f2, dig the bishop out. He should play, be playing b6 immediately. All right, I'm playing knight f2. We're pushing him back. Bishop g4, I'm trying to break in. I want him to play f5 so that he hurts this bishop. But actually then his knight, his knight gets around to more normal territory all of a sudden. Very weird position at the moment. Um, put the bishop on f3. B6, sooner or later, I, I really do need to watch out for B6. Yeah, okay, I'm going to get my queen out of the way. Put it on C2. I don't want to put it on C3 when knight f6, knight e4 is going to hit it. Yeah, at the moment, this position, what is he doing? He's just gone, he's gone bananas. I don't know what he's on about. I'm just going to steamroll his king side, his, his queen side now. He has to be worse here. If he takes, I just take back. He has no way to, to leverage any pressure here. My bishop is just completely securing it. G3, I'll take. This is so... Look at this. <laughs> this is always so funny. Okay, he is opening the side of the board. I really... I do got to get going. I do have to get going. Should I take or not? The That is a big question. Should I take here? I think... Man, I don't think I should take. I don't think I have to. I'm just going to keep throwing these pawns forward. How is he actually going to do anything? I need, he might sacrifice here. I need to be a, I do need to be a little careful. If he sacrifices there, we could have some major issues. Like if his bishop were off the board, he could play queen d8, queen h4, and I would be getting completely bamboozled in this position. He's thinking about it. I should yeah, that this a5 move was bad. I should have played bishop e1 first. Bishop e1 He did it the wrong way. He should have taken on c5 first, and if I take back, then he takes on h1 and then he's 
He's winning. Queen d8 there? Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't work, bucko. It's the end of the line. I'm playing bishop e1. I'm taking on g3. I'm chopping the tree down. I'm chopping the tree down for Thanksgiving. This is a wild position. He plays bishop. So bishop c5 doesn't work. He's checking. Oh, he oh he still has mate. That's beautiful. I didn't see that. Rook h1. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah, I was planning on getting some raiding today, but apparently I'm just tanking the, uh... Oh, I know this guy. This guy's cool. He's a good guy. E4, C5. This guy lives in Floripa, which is really close to where I am. I'm in, uh, this other town in Joinville. Let's play knight C6. Takes, takes. Let's play A6. We got a timing off here. I got completely demolished by this other Brazilian GM, uh, Evandro Barbosa, the other day. And that was not a fun, uh... That was not a fun occurrence. So hopefully I have some better results against this Brazilian top player. This guy's an FM, but I think his feed is already over 2400. He should be very close to the IM title. Um, I don't actually know what the uh, what the deal is with that. I don't know why he's not already in IM. So I think he has all his norms. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what's up with him. Speaking of today, though, I had delicious steak today. I went to the uh, <laughs> I went to the barbecue. I got a huge steak. I got like I think on the menu it was listed as like eight hundred grams of steak. I ate it in one sitting. It was really delicious. It was a great life decision. <laughs> it was a fantastic life decision to order the steak. Let me play B four. Let's kick the night out. Kick the knight out. Knight b5 definitely could be a problem. I don't see that I'm losing, though. If knight b5 takes, knight takes. Of course, my queen is very uncomfortable there. Doesn't look like the end of the world, though. Yeah, those of you who are wondering why I live in Brazil, like, half of the reason is just that they have fantastic steaks, and they're so cheap. I think I spent, like, $15 on what would have cost easily, like, $200 in, in a New York restaurant. For steak. It was scrumptious. It was a scrumptious cut of meat. I'm going to play bishop e7. Defend the pawn on b4. Just castle soon enough. I can't believe I got tossed around in two games now. Two games that I, I should have I should have won. They just slipped through my fingers. What's he doing with h4? h4 doesn't make much sense. If h5, that doesn't really achieve anything. I'll play... Let me just castle here. He plays h5, I play h6. I, I don't think he has any sacrifices there. I need to play d5. I always forget about this. When you play b4 and you boot the knight out, you got to play d5 soon. All right, let's go for it. d5, he plays g5. I play knight h5. I don't think there are any problems yet. His ring is probably higher than mine. 2663, okay, he's tanked a bit. He has to fix his bio. Regu that's not regular, sir. You miswrote it. He does speak English. I spoke with him when I was playing in the Floripa Open three years ago. Good guy. Very good guy. Um, at this point, I don't know how old he is. I think he's like 22 or 23, so maybe he'll become a GM at some point. At the moment, he's like more or less IM level. So with, uh, with some hard work and some training, he could be one of the best. Let me play knight h5 here. Uh, bishop d6. I think bishop d6 has to be played at this point. Wait, can I, why don't I just take here? Am I missing something? Yeah, let me just take the pawn. Bishop takes, I hit the rook. Bishop takes, I hit the rook, but then my bishop, my knight, they're getting to be some uncomfortable pieces. Ooh, but look at this though. Takes, I'll just play, I'll, I'm going to drop my bishop back to g6. I'm dropping the bishop back. He's going there. He's going there. Okay, we're going to just take bishop d6. I got to break this pin at some point. The pin has got to be broken. Man, I'm thinking about that steak. One of the happiest moments in my life was uh, just when I was back in the city. I was in the city, but it was last year. It was only for two weeks. My, my apartment building, is, if you could imagine, was right across the street from a shuhasku, which uh, is uh, more or less Brazilian slang for a steakhouse. And literally, I think... Every, I think almost every single meal that I had while staying in that place was at the steakhouse. 
And uh, yeah, it just, it was incredible. Just every, every day some delicious steaks. Uh, okay, here I think I just dropped a piece. I just dropped a piece. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy thinking about the Brazilian steaks. Y'all are going to have to forgive me. I'll play this. Maybe there are going to be some tricks here. I don't know. I, I don't really believe in it. I, I definitely misplayed this. I got to stop talking about the stakes during these games. That's not. It's not good for business. I'm going to just try to break through here. And this night, hopefully... This is actually a fantastic move. Uh, I, I just sort of... I blitz this out not really thinking. It's a fantastic move because I'm doing a lot. I'm trying to get my queen to this square. I'm also trading off the knight that's defending this. A, a fantastic Hail Mary that I, I didn't really fully appreciate until after playing it. A really, really strong move at the moment. Uh, here, if we play knight a5, we play knight, oh, knight a5, knight e5. What is the deal? We play knight d4. I want to just play queen c2. I don't know. I, I really want to keep the queen out, right? That's really important. Okay, I'm going to take here. I got to play quicker. I got to play quicker. I really, I, I know I have to lean forward in my chair to, to really get this win, but I just, I cannot force myself to do so. Yeah, he got me, guys. He got me. A sad day. Oh, he wanted a rematch I would have accepted, but uh, I was too busy trying to adjust where I was in this chair. It was, uh, I'm like leaning back. I'm in this, uh, this really beautiful desk chair, as I mentioned. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything, everything is going well in my life. It's, uh, it's an exciting time. Super hectic. Honestly, frankly, just stressful, but... You know, you put in you put in the work, boys, and eventually those fruits start to be reaped. That's where I am at the moment. I have no idea what this a three move is. I'm gonna play knight f six and just wish for the best. I've lost three games now by talking about stakes, so I'm gonna try to just play quicker and I'll talk about my stakes. I'll talk about the stakes, but I'll do it on my opponent's time. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it on my move. That's the the plan. I could talk about steaks for hours, man. I love steaks. Today I had a fine ribeye. My, normally my favorite, though, is mignon. I've been brought up in the French culinary house, and uh, I really like filet mignons. Okay, let's just put the knight on c4. This is classic Sicilian. Really super classic Sicilian. Something, something's gone wrong for him. Something is not making sense. The knight's about to dig into c4, hit e3 and d2. Also hit the b2 pawn. I guess he's going to do this. Uh, now we play d5, though. It's the perfect time to unleash the bishop. you got to unleash the power of the sun, as they say. All right, we're going to take, drill the knight into e4, maybe put the bishop over to f6. Bishop c5, also going to be very annoying. Um, knight takes a3, another idea. Let's play... Ooh, okay, things are, things are getting a little spicy here. Bishop c5 runs into queen g3, and that could be a big issue. Um, let me just play rook e8. I'm going to play bishop f8 if I have to. I tell, my, I tell all my students this. The classic thing is, is if there's a knight on f5, just try to poke your... Try to push your bishop, position your bishop, pop your bishop, I was going to say. Try to pop your bishop over on f8, pop it into place, uh, and yeah, you're going to be completely fine. They're not going to have any checkmate. It's like a classic idea, counter idea scenario. It's very interesting. I want. I don't honestly want him to trade the knight off because if he doesn't trade the knight off, then um, his pawn isn't going to be able to move and he's not going to be able to liberate this bishop. Here I'll play knight d6. If I'm not mistaken, guys, I'm actually playing some decent chess while talking about the stakes. It was a good idea to talk about the stakes. Now he has a lot of ugly pieces here. Knight is not going to be able to move on account of the c pawn. He's trying to pressure this pawn. I probably should play knight e4 at some point, but I don't I don't want to do that. I don't want to allow him to fix this knight, but how else how else am I going to stabilize the situation? You know what I mean? Um, if I, d4 is not going to work. I'll play... I'll play rook e8. If he takes everything here, rook e2 is going to be very annoying. 
I don't think he has anything yet. And I mean, long term, my plan is knight of five d four. I'm just, I'm really just waiting him out. He takes that way. Okay, we got to take rook e two, queen g three, queen g three. Things are getting spicy. Things are getting spicy in the doghouse, people. This is what chess is all about. This is what NBA basketball is all about. Bishop f6, let's play knight e4. He's going there. I mean, I must have a tactic here. Let's start with rook e3. Dig the queen out. Oh, he takes here. Oh, shit. Man, that's my bad. I completely forgot about that. Let me play rook e1. Let me play for a few tricks. Queen d8. Queen d8, I play rook e8. I think I'm winning with queen d8. This is a wild position. I want to offer a draw. I think if he just plays king g1, I'm losing. <laughs> if he plays king... No, he did it. He did it, guys. That's insane. <laughs> That's glorious. He blundered it. <laughs> yeah, of course, his idea was he just wanted to trade and then bring his rook back to d1, but I'm not letting that happen. I'm initiating a new threat. Beautiful chess here at the moment, if I may say so myself. Okay. Yeah, all I need to do is just keep talking about stakes, but talk about them a little quicker, and we're going to get it done. Uh, okay, let me play queen c8. I like this move, keeping an eye on e8. He wants to go for this and checkmate, so I'm not going to allow him. I'm just going to keep keep snatching the apples. There, yep. It's over, buddy. It's over, pal. Um, Let's play queen c6. Hold on to everything. That's what he's going for. That's actually a very good move. I don't know why I didn't seriously consider that. Play h5. In a very tricky position at the moment. The queen e3. I like this move. Covering a7. Preparing to take the pawn. Um, let's play queen d4. How am I going to do this? Queen a4? I got to throw my pawn to a5. <laughs> this is a very interesting, like, uh, positional grind here. And now we're playing a5. I think it's over. Once his bishop gets dislodged from this safe square, he's going to have to be losing. Queen c5. Queen c5 is in the fray. It's time to go. Play queen c6, really, really cheeky move there. Look at that cheeky move. Queen d6, I'm going to pick up another pawn. Queen c1. Okay, if he wants, he can trade queens. Uh, where is the win? Okay, here, here it is. All right. How is it not mate yet? How many more moves do I have to make? There we go. That's a good game. He wants a rematch? I'll give him a rematch. Got a bird. The Birdmaster 3000. I need, to, I need to start living up to that name, though. I need to get my rating back over at least 2,800. Do we play check here? No, we play bishop e2. This is the fianchetto. The fianchetto variation. Knight e5. This is covered in my course. Queen c7. We take bishop f3, d3. We just do all the normal stuff. Um, yeah, so bishop d7, this is a, a reversed Queen's Indian in which white's gotten an enormously good extra move in f4. Um, so really fantastic position at the moment for white. Uh, objectively, it should be equal, but um, my bias is heavily bent to uh, to the, the white player in these positions. Let's take this way. I really like this. And then you play e4. We're just chopping down boundaries. We're, I'm going to bring my knight from d2 to f3. Maybe even d2 to c4 after securing the b5 score with a4. Really liking this position. Okay, takes. Takes here. What is his plan? There? Well, then we play knight c4. What's he doing? What's he up to? What's he on about? I gotta watch out for this trick, right? Knight g4, knight e3, that's a really classic uh, bamboozling move. What am I gonna do with this bishop? I need to fix the bishop sooner or later. I want to play knight f3, but then knight g4. All right, I mean, my bishop is going to be going to d2 anyway. I don't need to worry about this. This is going to place his pieces under such discomfort. I really don't think I have to worry about that for the moment. It's going to take him like five moves to, to solve that. 
he takes there. I completely missed that. I play ninety five. That that's a big blunder. I did not spot that. I was dropping that pawn there. Very unfortunate. I think the, the the issue was that I stopped talking about the stakes. I have to start talking about some fresh cuts. What to do here? Let's just play queen e two. I this. So defend this. Rook b one. Maybe an idea in the future. What's the plan here? He's gonna take. Let's just play g three. Just keep things solid. Keep it solid. Keep it uh. Keep it comfortable. I'm down an enormous pawn here. This position would just be so nice and so uh, so playable if I just had a pawn on the board. But unfortunately, I get I blundered my best pawn. But it looks like we snatched a pawn back though, which is good news. He's gonna take this one. He's gonna take that one. I'll play ninety five. It's getting to be a wild, really wild position here. Really wild position at the moment. I might be losing, though. <laughs> I might be losing. I just did not see that move at all. Let's play bishop d6. He takes on c2. I'll play rook b1. I'm going to go for the same trick twice against him. But this rook b1 doesn't even work. Yeah, rook b1 does work. Wow, that is insane. I'm going to check, and he if he gives the bishop, I take. I take here, and I think I'm mating him. If he if he goes for any more than perpetual. Yeah, this was a really terrible blunder here for me to allow. Very unfortunate. It's a sad day for the show. Uh sad day for the show, but happy day for your boy. H six. What what is going on here? If I check this this position is just such a disaster. I'm gonna ch let me just throw in the check. Let's see what happens. Queenie one. I'm surviving for the moment. <laughs> My plan is some some type of trick. I don't even know what I'm threatening in this position. Like even if he doesn't have anything to do, if yeah, if he just checks and takes on h2, I think it's the end of the game. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that resign button. It's really time to go. Let's go again. Let's get another one. D4 f5. We got a Dutch. Knight f6. Your boy's getting tossed around. It's like I'm in a violent uh, like I'm in a violent sea. And my boat is just getting tossed here to and fro between the currents. I'm just forgetting the theory now. I, sh I was supposed to play knight a6. Um, yeah, guys, by the way, I, you're going to have to excuse the bad chess. Uh, I've, just, I've had a really long day. I wanted to make some good content for you guys, so I, I made sure to bring the energy. I made sure to be full of the vinegar for today's, today's show. And I hope you guys have noticed that. Like, I've been trying to keep the, the commentary light. And the banter blissful, but yeah, what can I say? I I'm trying to maintain a twenty eight hundred level rating, so it's it's very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult while talking. Uh, I'm definitely gonna try to do better next time, but yeah, my apologies for the losses. I think also a lot of the losses were just due to the fact that I've been leaning so far back in this chair. Literally, my face from the screen, I'm like two feet from where the screen is. At the moment. So. Oh, he made a move. <laughs> How long has my clock been ticking? I was just... I, this is a move that I just did not process. I'm tired, people. It's time to go. B4, I'll, I guess I'll take and take here. It's not a, not a fun position. Definitely not a fun position. Knight B5, I'll play... Play knight a6. Just, uh, just swallow my, swallow my pride and play knight a6. Eventually, I might play c6 and be able to kick the knight out. All right, let's play f4 here. F4 is a move you want to throw, throw in as much as you can. Uh, he should have probably played f4 first to fix this pawn and stone here. Yeah, the Dutch, the Dutch is such a strange opening. The Dutch is such a peculiar opening. 96. I'm not certain about that, though. I guess he's going to reroute to, to f5. I'm not, I'm not convinced of how bad this is, though. He plays knight f5. I can play knight g4. Knight f5, knight g4 is just a completely wild position there. Knight g4, he takes on e7. 
And then king h8 and then takes takes. Yeah, I guess I'm down a pawn there. I should play rook e8 first. The idea is eventually I'll play knight g4. Bishop f3, I have g4. He's going for that. He's going for the two bishop medley. The two bishop medley, but he's got a really weak pawn here. This pawn is going to be an hors d'oeuvre for the steed on c7 very soon. We got it all. We got the knight pair. <laughs> we got the knight pair. We got the bishop medley. We got the e6 hors d'oeuvre. Everything is uh everything is coming together now. Should I use c5 or c7? I'm just I'm gonna use c5. I, I don't have time to think. I do not have time to think about these positions. Queen f5. Queen f5 is mighty interesting. But I play queen g6. We trade the queens. Could also take on e2. King h6 looks like just such a wild move. King h6 is such an insanely wild move. I really want to play it though. But I. I I don't know. Could I play queen e2? Queen e2, queen g5, king h8. I'm attacking this bishop. Actually, I think that works. Look at that. Let me take here. I'm going to take. He takes this pawn. I play king h8. And now I'm going to I'm gonna be gobbling up e6. We're finally taking that hors d'oeuvre. Bishop is still hanging here. This is definitely not what he wants to do. He does not want to cede this good bishop. But then what, what else is he to do, though? All right. Well, that... Yeah, I think that's a big concession. That's an enormous concession, frankly. Um, should I play f3 here? f3 takes, takes, takes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. I think I'm winning. If This should also be good. That bishop is going to get trapped there. Mark my words, guys. That bishop is getting trapped. I'll play knight e4. I'm going to play rook h6 at the right moment, and it's just going to be trapped. It's done for. I'm going to play rook g8. Got to protect the rook. Sneaky guy. Rook e1. Bishop g4. No, this can't be good. How do I play this position, though? Rook Rook g5, queen e8, rook g6. This is a completely wild position. Bishop f5. Let's play... Uh, what is happening here? This is completely, this is complete mayhem here. I gotta hurry up. <laughs> I gotta hurry up. I'll play king g7. This, this is gonna get completely insane here. If he takes, I take back. I think I have full compensation. I, I really don't know. I think I have full compensation here. Just a wild position. It's just an insane position. How many moves can I make? How do I not have made here? He takes there it's completely complete. He still has no check. I have to just pre-move this. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. I got to give you guys a good game, though. I, I really I feel indebted to you guys to at least give you one good win. The, the issue is just that I'm leaning back in the chair, and my body is so tired from working out, I cannot lean forward in my chair. I did a massive amount of stuff that engaged my core this week, um, so my abs are literally dead. I'm broken down. Um, yeah, lo and behold, I, uh, I, I, I was doing just tons of, uh, heavy lifts. I've been trying not to focus on my core and, uh, yeah, believe it or not, like even when you don't focus on your core, if you just do a lot of compound lifts, like I was doing lots of pull-ups, lots of dips, um, lots of bench press, you just naturally start to, uh, to engage your core all the time. Like my abs are, my abs are really sore and I did not do any exercise that targeted them specifically let's play b5 here gotta throw the bishop to b7 i gotta restore the honor of this channel let's play knight b4 attack this this is getting wild all right that i think that was a mistake he should have played bishop b3 
How am I going to get my pieces out? Knight c6? Yeah, this, this still looks pretty ugly. d5. I'll put the knight on a5. A bit of an ugly square, but I, I can always come to c4 at the right time. I don't believe in b3 here. Yeah, this guy's playing well, though. I'll play f6. And bishop e7, the whole problem is d6 here. Let's start with rook c8. I like rook c8. Introducing ideas of b4. Queen d2, we might have knight c4. Yeah, what is the plan here? Do I have to play d6? I don't want to allow this terrible structure. Yeah, I, my position, I'm really suffering here. I'm going to play... Wait, what am I talking about? I could just play bishop c5 or bishop b4. Yeah, bishop c5 is fine. I'll just castle soon. Yeah, isn't it it's strange how we just we tell ourselves these stories and they're they're not really true in the slightest, but we're so convinced that they're they're legitimate accurate representations of what's going on. What's going on in our situations? All right, he wants to take and play bishop d6. I mean, I have to just allow him at some point. I'm going to get a slightly ugly structure, but my bishops are good. I think I definitely, I should be happy with the way this game turned out, because this could have been a lot worse. That, I don't think that should be good. Should I play f6 here? Let's play f6. Then I'll play e5. d6 would be a problem because of, he would take, he would take there. Even that position would be okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if f6 was actually a good idea. There, there might not have been any need for f6. Because as soon as this pawn gets liquidated, my bishops are just dominating the whole board they're lighting the table on fire a really wild position let's play queen e7 the moment everything is still okay i do not want to play e5 if i play e5 this bishop becomes entombed forever um yeah up until this point i had been under the assumption that you know getting this would would mean that i'm going to survive which is good but the problem is then my bishop is just going to be so ugly here that's a mistake. He shouldn't have done that. My bishops are becoming more and more, more and more brilliant here. Let's, let's play knight c4. Covering d6. If b3, then I'll shift the knight over to e5. I'm not afraid at all of these doubled pawns here. Double pawns would be fine. Let's play with d8. I'm gonna play a5 at some point. a5 is definitely the missing link in this position. Let me take. Can I take on a3? If it takes on a3, he plays bishop d6. Let's just do it anyway. I think that this is winning. I only got a minute seven. I, I don't have time to think. I don't have time to deliberate. We got to just take life by the, the horns and play the game. Play the hand we're dealt. Bishop c7 is a cool move. Bishop, oh, he plays e5, though. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just play queen f7 here. Takes, I still have this trick. Nothing has really changed. Okay, knight c4. This is completely fine. Knight e4. Yeah, that looks like the only move. The only conceivable move in this position. But I play f5. His bishop is actually just terrible now. Knight g5, queen g6, and I'm going to play h6. Yeah, he has to be dead lost here. Knight f3, knight e3. This, something is about to go really wrong. I think the key to this position is just getting my rook into c2. If I can do that, I'm going to be winning. So let me play a5, dig the knight out, and play rook c2 next. The game has to be over here. Okay, yeah, let's go for it. a5. He could try taking. Well, no, if he does that, this has to be over. There's no way that I can literally have every single piece in this position pointed at him. And there not be a win here. Um. Okay, I mean, I already have rook d2, queen d2, bishop g2 ideas. But where Where is the win exactly? Oh, knight c4. Knight c4 is so simple. There's like a hundred things hanging here. How Somehow another rook d1 holds on for him. How does that... What do I do after rook d1? I guess bishop e3? I should be winning here. I must be winning. Let me know in the comments what I should do in this position. Like, there must be a million tactics here. There's no way that you can have all your pieces pointed at your opponent and then be this uncomfortable and then be able to survive. Um... I'm wondering, yeah, where was the win, though? Was it this? Takes, rook takes. I didn't see what I had here, though. Takes, takes, check. 
here. I'm getting their queen, but they're getting my queen. So I didn't see what I had here. I don't want to turn on the game review, though. I like solving these things on my own. Maybe knight g4? Knight g4 takes, 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 and the idea is I'm threatening g3. I'm also threatening bishop g1. No, he sticks his king in front. Well, okay, if he sticks his king in front, I can take on... I can take on g1, so maybe not that, but I'm not sure I believe in knight g4. Here, th there must be some win here. Okay, at the very least, yeah, what am I talking about? Just takes, 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 and then I'm going to be picking up everything. I'm picking up both of these steeds. Yeah, this was better. Um, all right, so I think we have come to the end of this video. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a pleasure. Oh my god, I'm just realizing now that my camera was, uh... Oh, I'm just realizing now my camera was in the way the whole time. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um...